Caddy Wampus. All right, we just seen that you guys just performed at Buku Fest. Uh, kind of tell us how was that experience? It's pretty wild. It's pretty wild. It's pretty amazing. Uh, crowd, we were first on the main stage. The crowd was filing in, but uh, you know, big stage. Can't see our uh, LED setup that we had because the the sun was blocking it out. But uh, you know. So, I mean, you know, you guys have been doing music. Uh, how long have you been a duo or a band, in a sense? And uh, what made you guys come together and start performing together? Um, we started playing as Caddy Wampus in 2008, and uh, um, and we've been playing music for years before that, just with other projects and things like that. But uh, we were in a band in high school, and then Sean went off to New Orleans, or from Houston originally and uh, went off to New Orleans and wanted me to come and start a band, so we started one out there, just the two of us. We knew how we worked musically, and yeah, just started playing 2008, just the two of us. We got a practice space at The Maze, yeah, the and then maze. we started writing songs. Shout out to The Maze. Shout out to The Maze. Fatter than Albert. So how was it like preparing for this show today? What is your idea of Buku Fest and what does it mean to you? Um, I think it's like a, it's a new festival. It's pretty progressive. Like we're, we're in New Orleans, there's like a lot of great traditional uh, festivals that have gone on a long time. And it's just good to see someone like new to the scene with definitely new music bringing this amount of people and this like whole production. It's, like, it's a really cool setup. When I first moved here, I was like looking at the abandoned buildings, the power plant stage, being like, man, that's like kind of my dream to like play that building. And I didn't think it would be Buku, but like they got the stage set up here. They picked a good spot. They got a great uh, team on it and a good lineup. So it was just like, it, it happened. Yeah, it was like, you know, it's an EDM festival for in a you know general sense, but they got a bunch of other stuff. We're nowhere near that, but, you know, we're a part of the festival and really glad to do it. As far as preparing for the show, we just kind of prepared like we would for any show with a little, uh, you know, with, with the thought in mind that we'll be on a large stage with much louder speakers out there. And, uh, yeah. Very nice subs. Yeah. Yeah. We had to, yeah, to think about what was going to happen because we're, you know, we have our little setup on stage and it turns into something totally different when it's like amplified through the whole house PA and we've only had you know handful of experiences on a stage like that so like what's some of the inspiration behind your music and what makes you different as a group or as a band uh, I don't know. We're, we're working on a record right now uh, called Odd Hours and we're we recorded it all ourselves we're kind of more of a DIY band so we got our we friend and, yeah I was gonna say we're from uh, we got a, like in a, in a warehouse situation we got the most uh, very talented friend of ours just come in and we kind of just experimented with it for like two years so it's kind of just um, I feel like tinkering and you know trying to make a record that is, you know, on our own time and not just like, all right, we got to go into a studio for like 10 hours or whatever we can afford and like bust it out. But like we got to, you know, make a full length album that we like and put it out the way we like. So it's really um, kind of cool that we're doing that. And uh, Yeah. Yeah, we've had, we had, uh, you know, four albums before this or so. And uh, yeah, this one we've been working on for a long time. And uh, yeah, just he's got two singles out recently. Album's coming out in April, and we're working on new music too right now. Just starting to demo and get some new new tracks for the new album. Where do you guys see yourself within the next you know year, short term, and then mm -hmm. within the next five years, long term? Uh, short term, we got South by Southwest coming up. Got the album coming out, you know, right after that. Um, you know, just trying to be a little more active, trying to like do more festival shows like this, trying to get on a little, little different circuit. We've been doing a lot of, you know, house show tours and warehouse basement shows a lot in the past and kind of just try to step it up a little bit. And uh, yeah, I don't know, about five years. Which is basically what we're doing now. It's yeah. like every year it's like, where do you want to see you? Like, I guess just doing the same thing again, yeah. but hopefully with new, better music. Yeah. What's that friendly, annoying thing amongst everyone, like the pet peeve for everyone? Everything, everything. about him. Yeah. <laughs> everything about him. Yeah. 
It's like, you know, we're buddies, but we've been buddies for so long that we are in an argument, polar opposites, no matter what it is. And then something happens and we're all of a sudden defending the opposite side, mm -hmm. but still arguing. Sometimes so the car like rides are pretty wild. That's what the people behind the scenes, they might not know. Yeah. When we're talking to each other on the phone, like whoever I'm with is like, is that your wife? And I was like, oh. And uh, yeah, like, much probably situation. like 50% of the time, it's a buried we just hang show. up on each other, just like, <laughs> but then, you know, we, we, got, we meet up and we practice and pretend like that never happened. And what do you want your legacy to be 50 years from now, 100 years from now? What do you want people to know about you? Uh, I want to, I want to inspire people. I want people to hear the music and want to make music of their own. I want people to be influenced. You know, we're all about trying to take all of your different passions, all your different influences, and try to jam it into a song, no matter how frantic. So, uh, yeah, we hope to. Uh, I just want yeah people to get to gain inspiration from what we're doing. Hey, what's up? This is Caddy Wampus. You're tuning into MFAM HQ.